So Allah said in Holy Quran, as we said previously, وَأَلَّا وَاسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى الْطَرِيقَةِ لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُمْ مَا أَنْغَضَ If they keep on their ways, رسول الله ملتمس غرفا من البحر أو رشفا من الديام everyone is taking from Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم this أولياء الله so anyone you connect with takes you to one of his Sahaba that's why he said that look at my Sahaba and take from them And what Awliya Allah are looking at Sahaba, they saw the, how they followed the Prophet wasallam. everyone in his capacity. And they took that way to reach Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi afdalu salatu wassalam. And what Allah said, if you keep on that way, on that tariqah, on that way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you, will shower you ma'an ghadaqa. A... Water with no limits. He will shower you means with his manifestation with no limits. What is that ma? What is that water? He is showering you with this water that Allah mentioned in Holy Quran. What is that water? Is it water of Zamzam? Maulana is asking a question. Or is it a normal water of a well? or water of rain or water of a fountain or a river so what is that water and he said that water cannot be a physical water it is a spiritual water that Allah will give an understanding about it as he said in Holy Quran, وَفَحَّمْنَاهَا Sulaiman, That we have make Sulaiman to understand what is that wisdom, that hikmah of our of, of our manifestations, of our knowledge, of our enlightenment. We gave him the knowledge of that. So when Allah gave knowledge to someone, He made for him everything under His command. When He gave it to Sayyidina Sulaiman, that wisdom, Sayyidina Sulaiman was able to control jinn, ins, birds, animals, everything in this universe, as Allah said, وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Allah has made under your command Everything in heavens, everything on earth. But the key for it is to keep straightforward on following the way of Awliya Allah to reach the way of Sahaba, to reach the way of Prophet Sallallahu So Sahaba followed the way of Prophet. And that's why they have received a lot of knowledge from Prophet. Everyone has received different. And how we can understand is that, as Morana said, that knowledge in the night of ascension, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Prophet knowledges. And these knowledges, Prophet passed it to Sahaba. And what kind of knowledge? He said Allah gave three kinds of knowledge. First, a knowledge that he ordered him to declare it and to share it with everyone. That is Ilmu Sharia, the constitution of Muslims that they have to follow has to be a common knowledge, the infrastructure of everything. That first. Second knowledge, a knowledge that he ordered him to keep hidden from general human being, from common people, but to give it, pass it 
to special people. He orders him to give only for those who can carry that knowledge. And that's why Sayyidina Abu Huraira said that Prophet وسلم, has put in my heart two kinds of knowledge. Means I memorized, I, memo I learned from Prophet two kinds of knowledge. One, I shared it with everyone. The second one, if I share it, they will cut my neck. What is that? And we know that Abu Huraira, he mentioned he was the most, most muhaddis in the time of Prophet ﷺ. He is the one that in the Sahih al-Bukhari or Muslim or other books of Sahih, he is the most, he mentioned the biggest numbers of hadith. Still he said, I have another knowledge that I am hiding it. And the proof for that is, look at Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. How many ahadiths he mentioned? Who, who was the closest companion to Prophet And no one can deny that. Allah said, إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَعْزَلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا when they were in the cave, he said to Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, when they were migrating from Mecca to Medina, he said, Ya Abu Bakr, the sahibi, to his close friend, don't worry, Allah is with us. So he was the closest one. How many ahadiths he mentioned in his life? All ahadiths of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, if you count them, they don't go before, beyond 30 hadiths. Abu Huraira was not the closest one to Prophet, mentioned 4,000 ahadith. Sayyidina Abu Bakr mentioned 30. Where are, where are these ahadith that he, his life, he was one of the first to believe in Prophet. What Prophet told him and he did not reveal. He put in his heart, as Prophet وسلم, said that Abu Bakr al Siddiq, there is Waqar, in his heart there is a secret. And it is said that Prophet وسلم, poured in his heart, in the Siddiq's heart, what Allah poured in his heart. He revealed to him what he revealed to him in the cave. When he said, Ya Abu Bakr, when he was sad, he said, don't be sad. Allah is with us. What he revealed to him in that cave. What he said to him to make him happy. We don't know. It's not mentioned in any way. Once Allah revealed in the Holy Quran that Prophet said to him, don't worry. Allah is with us. Did he took them, him to that divine presence? To show him the divine presence? What he told him to make him peaceful, tranquil, happy, satisfied. He gave him something that he didn't give the others. What he gave Sayyidina Amr did not give Sayyidina Abu Bakr. What gave Sayyidina Ali did not give Sayyidina the other, Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Osman, what he gave his Sahaba, everyone different. So Awliyaullah, they take from these secrets in the heart of Sahaba. And that's why the chain of Naqshbandis passes through two main figures, Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Ali. That's why it's called the golden chain because it comes from two and meet in one later in Sayyidina Ja'far al-Sadiq from Sayyidina Abu Bakr one line from Sayyidina Ali they merged you know when they do dialysis what they do doctor where is that? they have many doctors here where is the other one sleeping they take the blood out from the patients Bathe, and then circulates to a machine, takes the impurities out and put it back 
that's true. But uh, on top of that, they emerged. They emerged, doctor. They emerged two veins. In the, ha in the hand or whatever. The graft with the vein and the artery together, yeah. that's the big flow. Then it shoot out. Lots of blood comes out. Lots of blood coming out, vibrating very quick, fast, like a uh, moving, Allah knows, how they have t a statistic on how much it is moved, like might be 30, 40 miles an hour. The blood goes out. Mm -hmm. And that's why they were able to reduce dialysis from eight hours to four hours now because they came with that merging so when you merge something the flow become bigger so when they merged what comes from Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq and what comes from Sayyidina Ali that shoot of flow becomes so huge that's why awliya Allah they become so strong they begin to take as much as they can from both sides secrets. That's why we say that Naqshbandi Tariqa is, as Busayri said, everyone is taking from Prophet either with a hand or with a bucket. Water means spirituality. So in the Naqshbandi order they are taking like with a bucket from ocean. They are taking and throwing in the heart of their followers. So that is the second part of knowledge that Prophet ﷺ gave to some, some Sahaba. Everyone, he specialized with something. The third prophet, the third knowledge Allah ordered him to keep it for himself, not to give to anyone. And this is from the knowledge of secrets of the night of ascension. What Allah gave to Prophet Wasallam, it is hidden in the heart of Prophet. He will not share it until judgment day. That's why it said in Hadith al-Bukhari that that in the day of judgment Prophet sallallahu goes into sajda and in that sajda he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah opens for his, through, for his heart du'as knowledge that never opened before he ask, 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 ask with these du'as until Allah said to him, raise your head, you will ask, you ask and you will be given. He said, Ya Rabbi, my Ummah, I want them. Look, his concern about his Ummah. And Allah give him one third. Another time, and Allah give him another third, the half of the rest. And another time, Allah give him the remainder. Still one left. One left. Why that one left? Must be a secret. All the Ummah goes inside except that one. Means Allah wants to show that Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Wasallam Wherever you ask, I give, but not everything. Everything is for me. I am the creator. You are not the creator. You are my servant. I give you. But I show you that you are in need for me. So that is a big sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show his greatness that no one can reach his greatness. Allahu Akbar. No limits. So he keep that one for a symbol, for a sign that Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I give you what you want, but still, not everything. Everything in, my, in under my mercy. So because of my mercy, I'm manifesting that name, beautiful name, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. On the day of judgment, that one left, 
You are not more generous than me. I'm sending him to paradise also. And Ummatul Nabi entered to paradise. This is, he is using the knowledge that Allah gave to him privately. That never been given to any wali even. To any sahaba. It's only for Prophet Sallallahu With that hidden knowledge that Allah gave to him, the Ummah, all the Ummah will be saved. Ummatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, inheritors, inheriting, uh, uh, to inherit, we say people inherit. What they inherit? Their parents' wealth. And this is from Mata'u dunya from dunya worldly pleasures. They inherit buildings, they inherit money, they inherit many things. But this is not important. Why not important? Allah gave a sign in dunya also that what you inherit in dunya for me, not worth nothing. We come to what they have done, we throw it in their faces. Allah said in Holy Quran, whatever they come with Yawm al Qiyamah from Amal, we throw in their faces. We throw it in their faces as if it doesn't exist. What is the sign? Because what we inherit. It's garbage, doctor. It's, it's wealth of dunya, and the sign of that, that it is garbage, there are some rich people, they give their inheritance to dogs. <laughs> it's not? They give their inheritance to cats. What you call this, to, to dog shelter? Dog shelter? Mm -hmm. So, that inheritance is for animals. So it means it is equal what, they, what dunya, dunya wealth is equal it it's, it's doesn't mean anything because it's being given to dogs even. Some people give it to fish. Mm -hmm. They cannot reach fish in the ocean. Never mind, you take it. Fish, I need in it. Or to whales. Or to tigers, to lions. What's that? So it means that inheritance that we inherit from our parents is like that. It is good that give you some wealth to live, but that is not the main aim or goal to inherit is the main goal is to inherit something that it is going to be of importance in the day of judgment inheritors awliya Allah are inheritors of Prophet they are inheriting knowledges that can guide their followers to the right way as Prophet guided Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq in the cave by saying, Ya Abu Bakr, don't get upset. What he gave him there, we don't know what he gave him. But he made him happy. So inheriting inheritors of Allah make their students happy in their lives. Although you might not see that knowledge, but they send it to your heart. They have a way to like laser beam direct to the hearts of their students from far away. Allah gave them that, that power. From far away they can send these beams, these lights. You don't see these lights in the, in the streets. Sometimes you see lights in the skies moving. These huge projectors. 
people look at them oh they are dancing in the skies or oh, very far why because they are very strong spotlights awliya allah they have spotlight from heavenly light from the they inherit allah nur samawati wal ard from that light a nur from that name they inherit from prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because allah manifested that name on prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam qad ja'akum min allah nuran wa kitabun mubin allah described that from allah gave, came to you o oh, human being nuran he differentiate between nur light and between holy quran he said first came light then holy quran that light is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with consensus of scholars that he is that light that allah sent and that's why he said i was what allah created first is my light from his light he created creation so that light that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is taking that name that name is manifesting uh, the name is manifesting itself on prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that beautiful name an nur in every moment his light is increasing because you cannot limit allah's name in every moment must go up increase increase in knowledge in in light stronger light so that as every moment passing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam increasing with that manifestation of that beautiful name an nur and he passes it to his sahaba from his sahaba to awliya allah our share is coming the share of the naqshbandis is coming from what he is passing to sayyidna abu bakr and what he is passing to sayyidna ali merging them together in artery and vein to give stronger flow as the dialysis gives stronger flow of blood it will give stronger flow to move you fast on the track on the runway that's why aeroplane they need a turbine uh, engine in order to go quickly up so awliya allah they are using that track as i said before in dialysis it used to take 8 hours now it takes 4 hours because they merge these two arteries artery and vein to go quickly the blood flow so awliya allah in naqshbandi tariqa they merged through sayyidna bakr and sayyidna ali to make everything very quick and that's why the student are on the runway they don't leave any student out of the runway they are all on the runway but everyone is being sent to him a different turbine means different light energy that move them one is faster the other one is slower the other one is little slower little fast everyone is different no one can be the same it's impossible that two be on the same track on the same they are on the same runway but their speed must be one more than the other rarely to have two the same or three the same maximum goes to three that they are on the runway running and the sheikh is giving them and he move everyone together in the same time but in different speeds means in different as, uh, manifestation of the beautiful name and nur that he is taking from the secret of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and giving his followers yes, that's why we said that allah said in holy quran is yaqulu li sahibihi la tahzan inna allah ma'ana bismillahi rahman rahim إذ يقول لصاحبه لا تحزن إن الله معنا فأنزل الله سكينته عليه وأيده بجنود لم تروها 
وجعل كلمة الذين كفروا السفلى وكلمة الله هي العليا إن الله عزيز حكيم. So he said that don't get sad. فأنزل سكينته. He revealed. He this he sent his سكينة his tranquility on them. What that tranquility was carrying. وأيده بجنود لم تراها. And he supported them with with the army that no one can see means he supported them with angelic with angels angelic power and angels that no one can can see what do you think these angels were carrying with them when they came down what Allah said in Holy Quran he gave them sakina tranquility peacefulness satisfaction contentment and immediately supporting it with angels. Every angel is carrying a different beam of light. Because as Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, and said that the Naqshbandis were migrating anyone who comes in an association of a Zikrullah, of a Naqshbandi association, even he sit five minutes in that association. He will be, he is 100% according to Awliyaullah, Grand Sheikhs of the Golden Chain, that he was present in the cave of Hira with Prophet Sallallahu and with Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq when they were migrated from Mecca to Medina because in that uh, cave, Prophet revealed to Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq the uh, importance of the Siddiqiyya Tariqah, which is the Naqshbandiyya Tariqah, and he ordered him to bring all the souls of the Naqshbandis to be in the cave, to be present in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Means everyone was there of Naqshbandis, you can call it Naqshbandi, you can call it Siddiqiyya, you can call it Taifuriya, you can call it Rakhalidiyya, Hakaniya, Mujaddidiyya, whatever you want to call. That line, they were all there. And the line from Sayyidina Ali merging, they were all there. He is giving from both sides, pushing them inside quickly. So he ordered all the souls to be present and everyone was getting We have supported them with angels that you cannot see. All of them, they are carrying different beams of light. That every, every light was given to one of these Naqshbandis and all on the runway, on the track. Ya Allah, move. Allah with his generosity doesn't look. These Naqshbandis or in general Ummat nabi is Ummatun Marhuma. It's a, an Ummah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it mercy. He is going to forgive it, her in the day of judgment. So it doesn't matter. You come five minutes and go means your name is, is registered. As soon as your name is registered you are present in that cave. In dunya, people might go astray, but with Prophet Sallallahu intercession and Awliyaullah uh, petition, Allah will forgive and bring them back to their normal power that Allah gave to them and grant to them in that cave. And this is from the secrets of Grand Sheikhs has exp uh, explained that secret and brought it out to light. No one knew that before. And we have to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he made us Naqshbandis. He made us to follow the way of golden chain, to follow the way of Maulana Sheikh Nazim, and from him to Grand Sheikh Sheikh Abdullah Faiz al from him to Sayyidina 
Abu Muhammad al-Madani, from him to Sayyidina Sheikh Sharaf al-Din, from him to Sayyidina Abu Ahmad al-Sughuri, back. From him to Sayyidina Abdul Khalik al-Ghuzduwani, Sayyidina, Abu, uh, Sayyidina Jamal al-Din al-Ghumuki, Sayyidina Abu Ahmad al-Sughuri, Sayyidina Khas Muhammad, Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdad, Sayyidina Ismail al-Anarani, Sayyidina, Khas, uh, Sayyidina uh, Khalid al-Baghdad, and all the way going up. Back to trace it all the way to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 39. 40 will be, inshallah, we hope that Allah give us life to see Sayyidina Al Mahdi Alayhi Salam. May Allah forgive us. Hurmat al Habib, Hurmat al Fatih. Kabbalah.